Dust has settled, Steve, or at least it's blowing north of downtown Oklahoma City. Hotel Black was imploded, and from my vantage point, and perhaps you've talked with some city leaders, everything went according to plan. Yes, it did. Uh, you know, it took less than 10 seconds. Uh, the uh, vibration was felt all around. The noise was heard uh, in neighborhoods blocks away. Uh, there was a crowd, I'm going to estimate 1,000, maybe less. Uh, quite a few people came out, though, to watch it. Uh, and it went totally according to plan. Uh, there is one small two-story building that still stands as of this moment. I'm guessing they're taking that down, though, at some point uh, yeah. today or this week, uh, sometime soon, maybe. Yeah, I talked to Chris Cates, uh, who uh, is in charge of Midwest Wrecking. And uh, he said that uh, the plan was if the building fell over it, that'd be fine. And if not, it's about 30 minutes work. And he, he estimates it'll be down later today. It was interesting to watch it. It looked like four by four, the detonation, then it just went straight down. And they really couldn't have asked for a better day weather-wise because the right. dust just kind of filtered to the north once it finally, you know, once the structure came down. Yeah, and it wasn't too windy. No. Uh, and uh, Midwest Wrecking had taken all sorts of precautions. You know, a lot of people have asked, okay, why were some of the walls painted pink? And uh, they were painted pink to ensure that some asbestos that was in the exterior of that wall was secured during a blast. So that's what that was about. Interesting. Um, so you have that. Uh, they also had uh, tractor trailers lined up along Hudson Avenue to make sure there was no da damage to Devon Energy Center. And you also had that big screen as well. Blocking the theater of Devon as well. I yeah. Was, I was up top in Montgomery. That was my vantage point. But you were among the people. What were you hearing? Uh, it was very interesting. Uh, I spoke to uh, a man who uh, brought his son. He had watched the uh, demolition of the Biltmore Hotel, the largest implosion in city history, uh, back in uh, 1977. I watched that myself. I was 11 at the time. And... Uh, he was down here with his son, who is 13. And so I had quite an interesting chat with him. Uh, also uh, talked to a couple who had watched the Biltmore explosion when they were in their 20s and uh, had come down to watch it with uh, their daughter and son-in-law and their grandchildren. Uh, so there were a lot of families gathered to watch this. Some of them uh, enjoyed some picnic breakfasts at the Myriad Gardens afterwards. Uh, and. In a lot of ways, it was a tailgate atmosphere. There's a huge uh, amount of applause as was, the yeah. uh, charges went off. Uh, there were some folks who were watching who were not as happy about this. Uh, they felt like we've already torn down way too much of our city's history, and they made it clear that they did not like what they were saying. Interesting stuff, and of course, this makes way at 499 West Sheridan. What's yes. The next, what's the next turn of the page there? Well, we uh, broke the story earlier this week that Bank of Oklahoma will be uh, the anchor tenant at 499 West Sheridan. It will be known as the BOK Park Plaza. They'll have the top four floors. They'll also be on the ground floor with a new downtown branch. Uh, their logo will be atop the tower. Uh, once the site's cleared, that will probably take uh, a couple weeks at least. Uh, they're set to start construction fairly quickly. The contractor is J.E. Dunn. Uh, the design work was done by Picard and Chilton. It also did uh, design work for Devon Energy Center. And uh, it's just, it's, it's going to be moving fairly rapidly. There's a pressure to get this job done. They really wanted to start demolition back in February, but that was delayed due to a challenge by uh, Ed Shadid on demolition of the Union bus station, which has since uh, been resolved in court and torn down. All right, very good. More coverage from Steve Lackmeyer can be found online at newsok.com and in the Oklahoma. And in the meantime, we're going to break out our big Swiffer, clean off the big screen as needed, which I don't think is needed, but you never know. Dust gets There's everywhere. There's a lot of dust downtown, and they're cleaning the site as we speak. <laughs> Steve, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.